Hi, my name is Chuck Rand, Collections Manager for the Old Bristol Historical Society and its Bristol History Center. This is one of four videos that we uh, want to introduce you to the searching capabilities of the online database. The online database, uh, called Past Perfect Online, is also known as the D Digital Images Archive. Today we'll discuss the OBHS website which provides context for the uh, DIA as well as its online database and its searching capabilities. So with all that, let's get started. So how do we find the OBHS website? Well, we go to Google and we type in Old Bristol and it turns out that I've already uh, defaulted to that and we get the first Google choice right there and this is our home page on the Old Bristol Historical Society now you can see this is the home page it tells you about our society our mission statement and our location then we have uh, upcoming events which is which we don't have there right there and from time to time we'll post these things on there. Obviously last summer we did not have any upcoming events. Uh, then support and membership is another one and where you can donate to our uh, fundraising campaign and our membership um, and you can read all about that there. And then we have starting our resources for people. We have the newsletters and all the newsletters dating back to 2004. They're all PDFs and you can find out all about what's the happenings going on at the old Bristol Historical Society. And then we have a resources page. You click on that link and you can visit our site on YouTube which you probably already have. Uh, then we have some direct links to uh, articles and books uh, about uh, under these different topics, prehistory, colonial Pemaquid, town of Bristol. Some of these are direct uh, links to online texts. Others are just uh, bibliographic items. And then we have contact us. And here's our our, inter our um, email address there, our phone number, and our post office box. But the thing that you're most interested in right now is our collections. So you click on collections and it t we talk about the Digital Images Archive, which is now online. And what we want to do is search our Digital Images Archive. So you click on that link right there. And that this takes you to our Past Perfect Online. That's the software that allows us to catalog and and um, take care of our collections. So the first thing I want to do is talk about the, this home page, which tells you a little bit about searching. But it's you can read all you want, but I think it's the easiest way is to actually do it and just uh, fool around with each type of search. But today we're only going to talk about. Um, uh, the uh, key, uh, the just the um, uh, random images. So we have keyword search, advanced search, archives, photos, libraries, uh, objects. These are the four uh, catalogs that we have there. There, uh, the the items are and materials are divided up into these four cat categories: archives, photos, libraries, objects. Um, and right today we're just going to click on the random Im images which the database automatically searches out uh, throughout its uh, over 3200 uh, records uh, pulls out these images here um, and so if you're interested in any of these you can click on uh, any icon here let me see if there's something that we want to look at there's the Island Inn and Annex, Monhegan. So, so there you have the um, title of the uh, image, 
We have the place where it was taken, the date it was taken, what type of object that we had scanned to get the images, uh, get, get the image, photographic postcard, and then we have uh, the collection, who donated the collection or, or loaned us the collection. We memorialize uh, these collections by the name of the donor or loaner. Um, and then we have these different links here, the people and the search terms. And these people, if we click on Bell S. Osier, it's searching, searching, and it gives you a quick uh, rundown of genealogical uh, f facts about the life of Bell Osier. Um, she was also known as, uh, her maiden name was Bell S. Poland. She was born February 14, 1883, and died in June 2, 1962. Um, her mother was Clara Tarr, and her father was Leonard Poland. She also married Frank Albion Osier. So that's the name authority, or people biography section. But these are also other images that Bell P Poland Osier appears in. And so you can go on from there. And if you're like me, I'll click on one, Mr. and Mrs. Leonard Poland, Bell and Addie. And you'll see that there are more links to uh, Addie and Clara. And, uh, and so you can keep going this way um, based on just the random images. Let's go back to the search. There's the re return to search results. And we're back to the random images. So this is the way that works. It's very straightforward. Here's a Harborview House, Round Pond, Maine. And this is a Harborview House, Round Pond, Maine. That's the title. It was uh, postmarked July 29th, 1910. It's a photographic postcard from the Kendall and Carla Fawcett collection. And you'll see that there's nobody, there are no names here, but there are other search terms, and we have over 3,000 search terms that are unique to um, uh, the OBHS. So we can click on Pedestrian's Main Round Pond and see all the images that uh, have that search term in them. And it turns out there's a rundown here. There are a number of, there's no object records with, with that. There's no archival records with that, and there's no library records with that, but there are 45 records that have pedestrians in Round Pond. So these are the images here. So I should also say that um, you can click on these, and uh, here's the original image of the postcard for this particular thing. But um, during the scanning process, I would pick out certain uh, parts of the postcard to scan on their own. So this is another section of that postcard blown up. And there's another section, and you get to see more detail that way. And there's the overall shot again. Um, so that is the random images, and I think that's all we'll talk about today. But in the future we'll be talking about uh, keyword searching, uh, the catalog searching, searching by different catalogs, and finally the advanced searching. Um, but I think that's it for now.